Jacksonville Beach is where thousands of locals and tourists hang out at popular bars and night spots in and around the Main Strip. The question now, what are Jack's Beach police doing to keep large crowds of people safe in those areas? News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignet joining us live in Jack's Beach with answers. Eric. tell me that they are monitoring every report coming out of uh, Dayton Police Department to see if there's anything from that mass shooting that they can learn from. I'll tell you something else. They're also utilizing resources that we see and don't see out here. This disturbing video of people running for their lives as a gunman goes on a killing spree outside a Dayton, Ohio nightclub is beyond terrifying. So is the sound of a Dayton police officer on the radio with dispatch calling for help. Shots fired. Shots fired. We got shots fired. We got shots fired. We got multiple people down. We're going to need multiple medics. It's a scenario Jacksonville Beach police train for all the time, especially given the number of bars and night spots that on any given Saturday night can attract hundreds, if not thousands of people. Sergeant Larry Smith says the department has an understanding with bar owners on what to do if there's an active shooter or even a fight that has the potential to escalate to the use of weapons. You know, if something happens, we want you to shut down the party, we want you to open the doors, let people out, uh, you know, turn the lights on, you know, get, make it, make it help, help us with, with it, you know, get, you know get, get people out of there. During the Ohio mass shooting. Officers killed the shooter in 30 seconds to prevent more deaths. Sergeant Smith says Jacksonville Beach PD response will be just as quick given the several dozen uniformed and undercover officers that are strategically positioned. There's been several several shootings we've had down here in this area where our officers actually gone and viewed the shooting because, because of the way they're so close. And then there are these surveillance cameras that were recently installed. For security reasons, I can't say how many are watching the entrances and exits to bars, but I can say they're is someone monitoring camera feeds 24 7. So I'm sure there's somebody watching us right now. Now, Smith also went on to tell me that there are officers who patrol this area that they know that there are people with carry permits who bring their guns with them when they come out here to the beach to have a good time. But he wants them to know that uh, uh, if they hear shots that are being fired uh, somewhere, if, some, if something jumps off and they pull out their gun, there's a good chance that they themselves can be shot uh, by an officer who may not realize that they're trying to be a hero when in, when in reality that officer may think of them as the actual shooter. So that's just something else uh, that they want to get out to the public to just be careful about that kind of thing. Reporting live in Jack's Beach, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.